Welcome to your journey towards a fitter, healthier you. Today we're diving into the world of high intensity interval training, or HIIT, on the treadmill. This powerful workout method is a game changer for those looking to enhance their fitness levels and shred fat in a time efficient manner. Height workouts are built on alternating periods of high intensity exercise with recovery intervals, which keeps your heart rate up and burns more fat in less time. It's not just about the calorie burn during the workout though, it's about the afterburn effect. This means your body continues to burn calories at an elevated rate, even after you've finished your workout. But the benefits don't stop there. Regular height workouts can improve your cardiovascular health, increase your stamina, and boost your metabolic rate. It's also a great way to break through those stubborn fitness plateaus that can be so frustrating. Our Hyatt treadmill routine is designed to be short, intense, and effective. We're talking about just 15 minutes of your time, folks. Yes, you heard it right, 15 minutes. So, it's perfect for those busy days when you're struggling to find time for a workout. The goal of this routine is simple, to help you shred fat and get leaner, faster. We're going to push your body to its limits, spike your heart rate and get those muscles working. But don't worry, we'll guide you through each step of this process, ensuring you're performing each exercise correctly and safely. Remember, fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all journey. It's about finding what works for you, challenging yourself, and staying consistent. And that's exactly what this height treadmill workout is all about. So if you're ready to revolutionize your fitness journey, stick around. This workout might just be what you've been looking for. Before you hit that start button on the treadmill, it's crucial to get your body prepared. A proper warm-up is a non-negotiable part of any workout, especially when it comes to high-intensity interval training. It's not just about getting your heart rate up or your muscles loose. It's about priming your body for the task ahead, setting the stage for optimum performance. Dynamic stretches and light exercises are your best bet here. Why? They mimic the movements you'll be making during your workout, ensuring that every muscle group is engaged and ready to work. Think about it like a dress rehearsal for your body. You're giving it a preview of what's to come, so when it's showtime, it knows exactly what to do. So, perform some light jogging on the spot, arm circles, leg swings, or even some body weight lunges. These will get your blood flowing and your body warmed up for the intense workout ahead. Now that we're warmed up, let's get that treadmill set up. Getting your treadmill settings right can make or break your height routine. Let's dive into the world of treadmill settings. Setting up your treadmill correctly is crucial to get the most out of your high-intensity interval training. It's not just about cranking up the speed to the maximum. It's about finding the right balance for your own fitness level and goals. First things first, let's talk about the speed. You'll want to set a base speed. This is the pace you'll return to during your low-intensity intervals. For beginners, a brisk walk might be the perfect base speed. As you gain stamina, you can slowly increase this to a light jog. Next, we have the high-intensity speed. This is the pace you'll hit during the peak of your intervals. It should be fast enough to get your heart rate up, but not so fast that you can't sustain it for the duration of the interval. Remember, height is all about pushing your limits, but safety always comes first. Now, on to the incline. An incline can add an extra challenge to your workout, simulating the resistance of running uphill. If you're new to height, you might want to start with a flat surface and gradually add incline as your fitness improves. Speaking of safety, let's not forget the safety clip. This little device can be a lifesaver. It's designed to stop the treadmill if you stumble or fall. Make sure to attach it to your clothing before you start your workout. And finally, we have the warm-up and cool-down periods. It's important to give your body time to adjust to the changing intensity levels. Start with a 5-minute warm-up at a comfortable pace and finish with a 5-minute cool-down. Remember the settings we discussed are just a starting point. The beauty of height is its flexibility. You can adjust the speed, incline, and interval lengths to suit your own needs and progress over time. With your treadmill setup complete, you're one step closer to starting your fat shredding height routine. Height is more than just fast-paced exercise, it's a science-backed method of training that gets results. You might be wondering what exactly is height? Well, height stands for high intensity interval training. It's a type of workout that alternates between short intense bursts of exercise and recovery periods. Imagine sprinting at full speed for 30 seconds, then slowing down to a brisk walk for one minute, repeating this cycle for 15 minutes. That's a basic example of a Hyatt workout. But why Hyatt? What makes it so special? Well, it's all about efficiency. 
With Hyatt, you can burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time. It's perfect for those with busy schedules who still want to stay fit. But the benefits of Hyatt go beyond just saving time. One of the biggest advantages of Hyatt is the afterburn effect, also known as Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, or EPOC for short. After a Hyatt workout, your body continues to burn calories at an accelerated rate for hours, sometimes even up to 24 hours. This happens as your body works to restore itself back to its resting state after the intense exercise. Hyatt also promotes fat loss, not just weight loss. It helps maintain muscle mass while shedding fat, giving you a lean and toned look. In addition, it improves aerobic and anaerobic fitness, boosts metabolism, and can even help control blood sugar levels. But remember, Hyatt is intense by nature. It's designed to push you to your limits. So always listen to your body. If you're feeling dizzy or excessively tired, slow down. It's okay to take it easy. With time and consistency, your endurance will improve. And that's the beauty of HIT. It's adaptable. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced athlete, you can adjust the intensity and duration of your intervals to suit your fitness level. The key is to give everything you've got during those high intensity periods, and then allow your body to recover during the low intensity intervals. Ready for action? Let's jump into the 15 minute Hyatt treadmill routine. It's time to sweat. Let's get started with the heat treadmill routine. This routine is designed to maximize your fat burning potential in just 15 minutes. It's all about intensity, pushing your limits, and then allowing your body to recover, only to do it all over again. This cycle of intensity and recovery is the core of high intensity interval training. In this routine, we will alternate between high intensity bursts and recovery periods. The high intensity bursts will be at a speed that really challenges you while the recovery periods will be at a comfortable, slower pace. It's essential to listen to your body and adjust the speeds to match your fitness level. We'll start with a three minute warm up at a comfortable walking pace. This is to get your blood pumping and your muscles warmed up for the intense workout ahead. Then it's time to kick things up a notch. For the next minute, increase your speed to a challenging but manageable pace. This is your high intensity burst. Push yourself, but remember to maintain good form. After that, drop your speed down for a two minute recovery. This is your chance to catch your breath and prepare for the next high intensity burst. Now we're going to repeat this cycle of one minute high intensity bursts, followed by two minute recovery periods four more times. Yes, it's challenging, but remember the goal is to push your limits. It's during these high intensity bursts that you're really maximizing your calorie burn and fat loss. To finish off the routine, we'll have a three minute cool down at a slow, comfortable pace. This allows your heart rate to gradually decrease and helps prevent any post-workout dizziness. Remember, the key to this routine is the intensity. The high intensity burst should be challenging, but don't push yourself to the point of discomfort or pain. It's crucial to maintain good form throughout the workout. This means keeping your back straight, your arms moving naturally at your sides, and your feet landing softly with each stride. And don't forget to breathe. Proper breathing is essential for efficient running. Try to maintain a rhythmic breathing pattern, inhaling for two strides and exhaling for two strides. This 15-minute height treadmill routine is a powerful tool in your fat loss arsenal. It's quick, it's intense, and it's incredibly effective. But remember, consistency is key. To see the best results, aim to incorporate this routine into your workout schedule three to four times a week. Fantastic job. But remember, maintaining proper form is key. So keep practicing, stay consistent, and you'll be shredding fat and building fitness in no time. Let's keep sweating and achieving those fitness goals together. Running with proper form is crucial for injury prevention and effective training. Let's dive into how to master your form and technique while engaging in this high intensity interval training on the treadmill. Firstly, think tall. Imagine a string pulling you up from the top of your head, elongating your spine. This will help you maintain an upright posture, which is essential for efficient breathing and preventing strain on your lower back. Next, let's discuss your foot strike. When running, aim to land midfoot, then roll through to the front of your toes. Heel striking or landing on your heel first can lead to injuries due to the impact. So remember, midfoot to toe, that's the way to go. Arm movement is another critical aspect of running form. Your arm should swing naturally back and forth, not side to side with your elbows at about a 90 degree angle. Keep your arms close to your body, but not rigid. 
Let them swing in rhythm with your steps to help maintain balance and momentum. Now let's talk about gaze. Where should your eyes be? Straight ahead. Don't look down at your feet. Looking straight ahead will keep your neck aligned with your spine, preventing neck strain and helping you maintain that upright posture we talked about earlier. And finally, relax. Tension in your body can lead to wasted energy and potential strain. So loosen up those shoulders, unclench your fists, and let your facial muscles relax. Remember, you're not just working out, you're working with your body. Another important point to remember is that maintaining proper form might feel a little unnatural or even uncomfortable initially, especially if you're used to running a different way. But stick with it. As with any new skill, practice makes perfect. In time, these adjustments will become second nature and you'll be running more efficiently, reducing your risk of injury and getting the most out of your HIIT treadmill workout. Now that we've got our form in check, let's focus on breathing. Breathing might seem like second nature, but there's an art to it when it comes to HIIT. Let's delve into how you can maximize your efficiency with proper breathing techniques while running on the treadmill. The first rule of thumb is to breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. This simple technique helps filter and warm the air entering your lungs while also better regulating your breathing rhythm. Next, focus on belly breathing. It might sound quirky, but the idea is to fill your lungs entirely by expanding your diaphragm, not just your chest. This way, you're taking in more oxygen with each breath, fueling your muscles more effectively. Lastly, try to sync your breathing with your steps. Inhale for two to four steps, then exhale for the same count. This rhythm not only keeps your breathing steady, but also helps you maintain a consistent pace. With your breathing in check, you're ready to cool down and stretch. Cooling down after a strenuous workout is just as important as the workout itself. After pushing your body to its limits in a high-intensity treadmill session, it's time to bring your heart rate down gently and stretch out those hard-working muscles. Post-workout, your body is in a state of stress. This is where cooling down comes in helping your body transition from a high energy state to a resting or near resting state. It also aids in preventing blood from pooling in your lower extremities, which can cause dizziness or even fainting. Now let's talk about stretching. Stretching is an essential part of your cool down routine. It helps to increase flexibility, promotes better circulation, and can aid in muscle recovery, reducing the risk of muscle soreness. Let's start with a hamstring stretch. Stand upright, gently bend at your waist, and aim to touch your toes. Hold for up to 30 seconds. You'll feel a slight pull at the back of your thighs. This stretch is great for your hamstrings, which get a real workout on the treadmill. Next, let's stretch those calves. Step your right foot back, press your right heel into the floor, and bend your front knee. You should feel a stretch in your calf muscle. Hold this for 20 seconds, then switch to the other leg. Don't forget about the quads. While standing, grab your right foot and pull it toward your buttock keeping your knees together and pushing your hips forward. Hold for 20 seconds, then switch to the other leg. Finally, let's finish off with a gentle torso twist to stretch out the back and core. Stand with your feet hip width apart, twist your upper body to the right and hold for 10 seconds, then repeat on the left side. These stretches should be done gently and slowly. Remember, we're aiming for a feeling of slight tension, not pain. Incorporating a cool down routine and stretching after your workouts will not only help you recover better, but it will also prepare your body for the next training session. Remember, consistency is key. Keep it up and you'll see fantastic results. Fitness isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Consistency and gradual progression are key. It's important to remember that this isn't about who can run the fastest or who can do the most reps. It's about finding your own pace, one that you can maintain in the long run. And once you've found that pace, it's all about pushing yourself just a little bit more each time. That's where progression comes in. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's natural to want rapid results, but lasting change takes time. In the world of fitness, slow and steady does indeed win the race. And with each workout, you're building not just a stronger body, but a stronger will too. So don't be disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Keep at it. Keep pushing yourself, and soon enough, you'll see the fruits of your labor. And that wraps up our height treadmill routine. Go ahead, give it a shot. That's a wrap on our fat shredding height treadmill routine. We've journeyed through the power of high intensity interval training, the importance of a proper warm up, and the setup of your treadmill for this routine. 
we dived deep into the understanding of Hayat, the 15-minute routine, and the mastery of form and technique. We've also shed light on how to breathe efficiently during your workout and the significance of cooling down and stretching post-workout. Finally, we discussed the importance of consistency and gradual progression to see the fat loss results you're aiming for. Now it's your turn to experience the magic of this routine. Embrace the challenge, feel your heart race, and watch the sweat drip. This Hyatt treadmill routine is your ticket to a more toned sculpted body. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. Stay consistent, and you're sure to see results. Until next time, stay fit and stay healthy.